Hey, espresso and coffee lovers, Mark here from WholeLatteLove.com, and I have three Barazza Sete grinders. They look the same, but they are different. Uh, we're going to compare them today, find out what's the same, what's different, and which might work best for your situation. So we have the Sete 30, the 270W, and the new 270WI. Really cool grinder, more about that in a minute. Um, you know, if you like the coffee and espresso stuff, I do hope you will subscribe to our channel. It's really easy. Just click the little bean icon down there. And then once you're in YouTube, do what I call ring the bell, turn on your notifications. That way you'll know when we put up a new video. We do a couple new ones a week. If you get the notification, it's something you're interested in, you can check it out. If not, you can ignore it. Uh, but you will know when we do a new video. So what are the settees known for in general? Well, first let me tell you, they all use the same burr. It's a 40 millimeter all-purpose burr that's going to be good for espresso and pretty aren't good for other brew methods as well. Um, they have that grind straight through design, so they're fast, uh, very low retention. The grinds that it produces, absolutely beautiful. So fluffy, and if you're grinding into a port filter, they distribute really, really nicely. Uh, they're also, because of that open design, maybe just a little bit louder than some other grinders. Now, I've done some uh, uh, volume measurements using a DB meter, unofficial. They all have basically the same internals, so they all have the same sound. I did see on Home Barista the other day, somebody said that, you know, the WI was now quieter than the, than the regular 270, and I didn't find that to be the case at all. Also the same, they all come, they can all accommodate a portafilter on some hooks, uh, but there are some differences there, and they do all come with a grinds bin, so if you're grinding for methods other than espresso, uh, you can do that. Um, you can also pick up a, an accessory burr if you're less about the espresso and more about, say, drip or pour over brewing, you want to grind for that. Um, you, you really, you're, you're going to be okay with the all-purpose burr, but if you're really particular, um, the accessory BG burr is a little uh, less sharp on the edge, so it tends to produce fewer fines. Those fines are fine when you're making espresso, uh, but if you're doing the brew grinds and you want a more consistent grind, uh, the brew grind burr, we have it, it's available, I think it's about 25 bucks, uh, will get you maybe just a fewer fines and a better grind for brewing. So what's different between the models? Well, a few things. Um, first of all, uh, it's in the name, right? So the Sete 30, 30 grind settings. The 270, 270WI, uh, well, 270 grind settings, that's a little misleading. Um, so what you get on the 30 is 30 grind settings that are adjusted here. Um, same thing on the 270, 270WI. What these two grinders add is micro adjustment. Um, so within each of those 30 grind settings, you could get a full range of adjustment there. And the 270, that was a mi little misleading because that, uh, that micro adjustment is actually what we consider stepless. So there's no like clicks in there. So you can continuously vary it. So you can really dial in your espresso grind exactly where you want it. And if you know espresso, uh, it's one of the most important things to, to getting a really good shot. Um, also different. Um, they all have the hoppers here. They all have shutoffs. On the 30, the shutoff is uh, plastic. Uh, on the 270s, it's a metal shutoff. Uh, what else? The forks on the 30. So it, it, you, it will accommodate either the grinds bin or a portafilter. Uh, but on the 30, if you're going to switch between a portafilter and a grinds bin, you need to pull the, each fork out, turn it, and pop it back in. On the 270s, they use the same mechanism. And on here, you just push in on one and push down. And then you can switch to portafilter or push in and back up. And you're back to a grinds bin. Also on the 270s, you have an adjustable uh, retainer so you can grind hands free into a porta filter. And that adjusts up and down, and you, you can accommodate just about any porta filter in there. Also, a little bit nicer, those forks on the 270s, they're metal and they have nice uh, rubber uh, stops on them here. Um, so that makes that really handy. Um, other differences um, on the 30, what you get is one timed grinding preset. On um, the regular 270, it takes up to three timed grinding presets, so you can have three different times programmed in there. And then things get really cool on the WI, where this is a grind by weight. So it's actually measuring the weight in your porta filter or the grinds bin as the grinder is grinding, um, and it's incredibly accurate. Now, I've done some other videos on these grinders where we go more in depth on each one, and if you use the link up here, you can check those out. But 
the weight-based grinding on the WI is absolutely incredible. And the I stands for intelligence. So what the 270 WI does um, is it actually has to turn off the motor before it reaches the final weight because that thing's still spinning and it's still weighing and grinds are still coming out. So it's got to kind of anticipate. So let's say you set 17 grams and the very first time you grind on it, it, it hits 17.2 after all is said and done. Well, the grinder learns that and it says, okay, next time I got to shut off just a little bit sooner to hit that 17 grams. Now in my test, this thing is absolutely incredible. Again, check out that video um, where we did those tests. And it, let's see, I did 20 grind cycles uh, at seven, a setting of 17 grams. 10 out of the 20, it hit the 17 grams precisely on the display here. Uh, my largest, out of the, the largest deviation out of those 20 cycles was 0.3 grams. And I think that's something in the neighborhood of a 2.5, 3% difference. And if you can taste 2.5, 3% difference in a dose weight in a shot, I want to talk to you. I don't know anybody who can do that. Um, but that's really cool. Um, and other than that, they're, you know, they're pretty much the same. These, in fact, the whole burr unit here, I could take it out of the 270 and put it in the 30. Or I could put that one in here. I don't know why I'd want to do that. Um, but actually, uh, really, really nice. Again, the super fluffy grinds from all of them, just beautiful. So let's talk about which grinder might be right for you. So the 30, if you're grinding for brew, say drip or pour over, uh, you know, the 30 is going to be just fine. You know, you're not super concerned. You don't need that same concern for the uh, actual grind size, you know, down in the espresso range where it's very touchy and, you know, tiny little grind size difference makes a huge difference in your shot. Um, so this is going to be fine. Um, it, it also really can work for, you know, some of the lower cost uh, espresso machines. And one of the guys here in the office, he has a Gaza Classic at home. And the 30, he says, you know, serves him just fine. Every once in a while, he's like, you know, I wish I maybe could just, you know, dial it in just a little bit more. I maybe wish I had that. But he says, you know what, I get by with the 30. If you're a little bit more particular, um, you want those ec that extra grind size adjustment, the ability to make those micro adjustments, um, and you're okay with timed grinding, um, then the 270 is going to service you. I've done some tests with the 270 to see how accurate it is dose to dose uh, based on time grinding. You know, you're not going to get the weight accuracy that you would with the WI, but it's pretty darn consistent. Just realize if you set a time on this, and you do again have those three time presets versus one on the 30, um, if you set the time on here and then you go change your grind size, that's, uh, that's going to change your dosing weight a little bit because the grind size has changed. If you want the ultimate, if you're really really particular, um, if you've been using a separate scale to, to weigh your espresso doses, man, the 270 WI is going to change your life. It's incredibly accurate. Like I say, I, just, I am just so impressed with the quality of the grinds that come out and how well they are distributed in a filter. There's a lot of grinders I use where I'm going around, I'm kind of redistributing stuff. Uh, when it's grinding or shaking and that. And I'll tell you, these just fall so nice and perfectly into the center. So fluffy. Uh, I've never seen a clump cut come out of one, uh, 270 or uh, 30 for that matter. Never seen clumped grinds come out of there that you're going to worry about in an espresso dose. So um, those are the Sete 30, 270, 270 WI. You know, if you've got questions or comments, do, do leave them down there. You know, I really enjoy talking with you guys and responding to the comments. I give, you know, res responses that are just as detailed as I possibly can, and I'll usually do it within one business day. Every once in a while, you know, I'm off for the weekend or take a little vacation where I disconnect, so don't hold me to that all the time. But usually, you're going to get a really detailed response within one business day, so do check out the comments. Um, the settees are all available now at Whole Latte Love. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching, and I do hope again you'll subscribe and come back soon for more of the best on everything coffee. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.